dream setters we're here at the enduro bearings booth they've got some pretty amazing products i'll link in the description below yeah, they've got a really interesting science experiment happening here in the fish tank excuse me look at this fish tank right so there's no fish inside but there's a bunch of bearings this is going to basically shittle over the quality of some of the bearings out in the market today. Enduro bearings are here and they have the Maxic technology, all right? And they are supposedly impervious to corrosion. We also have bearings from SRAM, Raceface, Chris King, BB Infinite, Kogel, and Ceramic Speed. The BB Infinite bearings have already turned black. That's a bit of a problem. So we're going to do a time lapse. We'll come back later on, like maybe two days' time, and see how these bearings are looking. It could be a tragic story. Here we are, folks. We're back at the fish tank. And, well, it's a bit of a sorry story a couple of days later. Look at this bearing here by SRAM. Will it turn? I don't know, it's really covered in rust. As I pan the camera to the right, the Chris King bearing's doing very well. Looking great, they use great materials. The Enduro Max hit, not a mark on the bearing. And don't forget, this is salt water. It's been running in this tank for three days now. Kogel, looking pretty bad. Ceramic Speed, looking bad. The Enduro XD15, well, I haven't reviewed these bearings, but anyone who throws bearings into a fish tank needs to have their head red. But it's a very strong endorsement of the product. So like the other important thing, no fish have been injured in the rusting of these bearings. You heard it first here on the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel. I have a couple of project builds coming up. More than likely, we might employ a bearing set with a headset or bottom bracket bearings because this is obviously the bearing set and materials to use.